Hello everyone, welcome back. Let us now see how to solve the question number 10 in Kalashal exam simulation for certified Kubernetes application developer. So Team Pluto needs a new cluster internal service. So create a cluster IP service named project-plt-60c-sVC and namespace Pluto. This service should expose a single pod named this one of image nginx 1173 alpine Create that pod as well. The pod should uh, be identified by label project uh, plt-6cc-api. The service should use TCP port redirection of uh, 3333 uh, colon 80. Finally, um, use, uh, for example, curl from a temporary Nginx Alpine pod to get the response from the service. Write the response into this um, HTML file on this host. Also check uh, if the logs of the pod show the request and write those into this um, specific log on the same host. So it's about creating a uh, a cluster IP service type with the given ports and the other specification with the labels and IDs. Um, and then creating a, a service of top cluster IP with the given specification. Um, and create a temporary pod to query the endpoint to see if, it's, if that is reachable. Uh, if yes, then write um, the response back into a given file also um, log uh, which means uh, we have to query the logs for the pod and then write it to a different log file here so um, let's create the pod first so keep cuddle um, in the pluto namespace and the pod name Is this Pluto PLT six CC FN run this? name and the image is going to be nginx 1.17.3 alpine and they're also given um, the pod I mean label for the pod which should be projects and project equals plt hyphen six cc hyphen api uh, looks good let's create this pod it should be labels and project equals so the pod is now created um, next, uh, we have to um, create the service for which we need to use kubectl slash hyphen n um, in the Pluto namespace. Expose the pod uh, which we just created, which is this one. And Let's call the service by the given name. The copy is not working as it should. I'll try again. Your service. And uh, we have to specify the port. So 
the port is going to be 30 33 and then the target port is going to be 80 it so looks good let's create this service so it says project not found okay it should be project hyphen plt okay service is now created the port is let's inspect both the resources that we just created so kubectl get pods in the pluto namespace this is the one that we've just created which is two minutes three seconds ago let's get the service as well and it should be of type cluster ip so by default any service that we create um, belongs to the cluster ip service so we have the service as well here um, so let's also inspect uh, the endpoint so we have the endpoint created as well so at this stage we have uh, the pod and as well as the cluster uh, cluster IP service running now uh, we have to create a temporary part using which we had to do the uh, connectivity check um, so let's do that so for that for which uh, we'll create a temporary part called let's call it tmp restart equals and they also um, gave the specification like you have to use the nginx alpine let's use the same image given in the question and then we have to curl so we can curl using um, the IP address which is here or we can also use the HTTP endpoint which in our case will be HTTP shares. The service name which is inside the Pluto namespace and should be accessible through the port 3333 uh, it should not be run it's a typo here it should be RM and there should be a space after the hyphen hyphen well then so, um, so this is the default nginx page um, which we have received in the response so this confirms the service itself is um, working as intended um, yeah that looks good um, the next th all these uh, we have to now uh, check the logs of this pod um, and then show the request and write this into this file let's do that for which cube uh, in the Pluto namespace check the logs of the project MPLT let's check this one so we could see there is uh, the request that we just made have uh, is reflected here let's do one more perform one more request and then 
check the logs to see if we see two requests yes that confirms it's uh, working now let's write this information uh, to the log file here also verify it once by opening the file yep so that concludes this question so yeah thanks for watching uh, see you in the next video